Hey guys, welcome to Stampin' with Alicia. Today I am featuring a brand new stamp set and die set from the um, annual catalog that was just released yesterday. I hope you guys have had a chance to look at it, make your wish list. Um, it is a really a great catalog. So I've been dying to use this at home with you. It comes with 25 wonderful stamps. You could do a lot with this stamp set. You can create welcome home, congratulations on your new home. There are images for the seasons. So here is some garland for Christmas. Then you have this image and it has like ornaments in it, like a evergreen or whatever. Um, this for fall. You have a birthday cake and then you have a couple wreaths that will take you through a couple seasons. You have the little tie to, to so the wreath looks like it's attached to the door. You have a welcome sign and you have this sentiment which fits inside the door because this door opens. A welcome mat which is really cute and then you have a little plaque. So this you could hang on here. And a couple of these, a few of these sentiments will fit in there, or you can do the wreath. I've also seen people um, online, they put a number in here. So I think that's great if you are giving a welcome, um, congratulations on your new home, to write in the address number. So really cool. So we'll be using this today. We're also using the new DSP. This is the, oh, I don't have the name. It'll be linked below. It's the wood... I don't know the exact name, but it's the wood, um, wood texture, something like that. DSP, it comes in a pack, it's six by six. And if you checked out my haul video, my pre-order haul, which I'll link above here, um, I show this as well as some other DSP. So what I'm going to do is I have picked out two pieces, they're the same, and I'm going to use these. You will need a crumb cake card base. This will be a side folding card. Um, you will also need your brick wall textured impression folder. Um, it's just an embossing folder that is brick pattern. And I already took a, my card panel, a piece of Always Artichoke, and cut it out and embossed it. Okay, what I did was I took one of my wood pieces of DSP and I cut it. And I may not need this one, but we'll put it aside just in case. So what I've done is I want to use this wood piece as my door. I thought it would create a nice texture. And there is wood grain, obviously you can see it. And there's like a, it's not a seam, but a piece where the two pieces of wood, wood pieces meet. And I did not want, my door fits inside one panel. So I'm gonna, I cut it in a way where it would fit, I cut my paper in a way where a full panel was showing so I could stamp my door inside just so I didn't have this seam like running in the middle of my door. That is totally a weird <laughs> uh, thing. I mean, obviously you don't have to do that, um, but just I prefer to not have that show. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my mini Misty, stick my paper in here, and I don't need my stamping block. Take my stamp off. And with the bigger stamps, I like to use some sort of positioning tool because more than likely, you're not gonna get a first, a good first impression. So I am just lining up my stamp to fit in that one wood panel. I'm gonna close my door, lift my Misty up, put my paper back. And then I'm gonna use basic black to stamp my door. adjust my paper. Ideally, it's you don't want your paper to move, but I know my paper was butted up against the edges, so it will be okay. And with this being a new stamp that I've never used, it is extra sticky. Okay, so now I have my two dies. These, they're, when you, in the package, they're like this. So this is your door frame, this is your door. Now, this one's easy because it cuts around the whole door 
frame. So we're just going to, I'm going to use a piece of washi tape to secure it. And if you use washi tape to secure your dies, just a tip that I always like to follow is I put my washi tape on the outside. I don't ever overlay it on whatever I'm cutting out because sometimes it'll rip. I would rather rip this than my image. So I'm going to add a little bit on the bottom just to keep it stable since it is a little bit bigger of a die. Now this one that goes inside, you need to be careful because it only cuts on three sides. So you need to see where you don't want it to cut. You don't want to do it backwards and then your door accidentally opens up this way. Okay? You want to do it in a way where it cuts the sides and then this side is what stays intact. So this doesn't have any... It's just smooth and flat, and these have little cut marks. So I want the smooth and flat side on the side that is not going to open. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to cut this out first before using this. All right, there is my door. So this is the first time I'm using this set, so I think it'll be easier to, I don't even know if it's possible to cut both out at the same time, but we're going to do it separately just to make sure I get it right. Okay, so my smooth side is on the left where my door will have to be creased. So I'm sure there is a way to do it both, cut both out at the same time. I mean, I would think, let's see, maybe I just need to do the inside die first before doing the outside. Maybe. I don't know. If you tried it, let me know. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. I made a mistake. When I cut, I had mine too low. So instead of this cutting the maybe bottom portion, it cut it off like this. So I think it'll be okay. I'm not really going to worry about it too much. If it really bothers me once I put my card together, I will just redo it. But um, you know, definitely, this is obviously going to take me practice to use this, but no big deal. So we're going to, I want to get an even line is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to take my scoreboard and see if I could, it is a little bit scored already, but I want to kind of see if I could just add a little bit more of a score mark and see if that will work. All right, before I hear my door down, I want to take my two pieces here, my card base and my panel, the brick panel. And what I want to do is I wanted to create a floor. I didn't want to put my door down because then it looks like it's floating on a brick wall. I wanted to have some grounding to my scene. So my door, the wood grains run uh, vertical. I want my floor to run horizontal. So this is the other half. So I won't need that second sheet of DSP. So this is the other half. And I'm just kind of seeing where I want it. It's a little too high. So maybe right here. I think that'll look good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim my brick off because I don't want all this bulk. So I'm just going to kind of roughly mark where I want to trim it, put this aside. And then I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to my card base. Then I want to make sure, since I have a teensy bit poking out, I want to make sure when I cut this, I need to cut it in a way that will, it will continue to have that little bit of border out. So I'm just going to place this again judge again where I want to cut and then go ahead and trim this. There we go. And then we have our door. So what I want to do is I'm going to fold this crease a little more. but I also want the door to be able to shut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my Tombow Mono Glue along the door frame. Now 
Now, when I open, I didn't even think about it, but obviously now I'm doing thinking about it as I'm doing it. I don't want my brick to show. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take, I'm gonna probably use very vanilla since it's a little bit softer. And I'm gonna use this die, even though it only cuts on this side, I know when it cuts, it's gonna be a perfect size for this. So I'm gonna take a piece of very vanilla, use this to cut it, and then I'll cut the, uh, the fourth side so we could stick that in there. Now, if I had to do this differently, I probably would have cut out very vanilla from this frame and then I would have glued my door on this um, frame. That way it was more of a solid piece. But no biggie, I went ahead and cut this out and it fits right in here. Now, before I adhere it down, I wanna make sure that I know what I'm doing with my sentiment. So I'm gonna put these two pieces aside Okay, and now I'm going to take my images and I'm gonna to look to see how I wanna kind of decorate my scene. I do wanna welcome Matt, for sure. I do love these little lantern lights. I think that would go well with the card. And I want the little flower pot with the flowers. I definitely do wanna add a sign, but I'm gonna wait on the sentiment. I'm gonna go ahead and work on what I know I want and then we will come back. So I'm gonna stamp my images out and then I'll be using my Spectrum Noir markers to color them. So I will speed this part up and Okay, so my card is looking pretty bland. I thought about, instead of using Always Artichoke, using a, a Cherry Cobbler, which is a really pretty dark red. You know, play around with the color combos. Um, I kind of wanted a more of a natural look, but what would be nice is when I add my little images here, it will brighten it up. So I'm using my stamping dimensionals to go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna pop some of these images up that I colored. I'm not going to pop up my floor mat or uh, door mat, welcome mat, whatever you wanna call it. However, um, I, this is real easy to cut. I am gonna cut the white border off of it. I don't want the white border on the mat. And then we'll go ahead and stick our little flower pots. And then our lights. One looks nice too. I went ahead and did both. All right, so I totally, when I was putting away my stamps, I totally did not see until now the little die that cuts out the windows. Perfect. So I'm gonna make things really difficult and take a big chance. And I'm going to of course, this is not probably not the smartest thing to do after I've adhered everything, but let's try it. Let's take a risk. So I'm gonna take a piece of washi tape and put that here in the center, just to hold it in place. And I'm going to run this like this through my die cut machine. So 
fingers crossed. Okay, so I've gone ahead and cut out my little door. I definitely don't recommend that. It embossed my little lantern and brick a little bit, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to keep going. I will uh, fix this off camera um, when I get time, but for the sake of the video, we're going to keep going, learn from my mistakes. I probably should have just left it, but you don't learn things without trying. So... I'm going to make things simple and I'm just going to use this long stamp set here. It says, I feel at home when I'm with you and I'm going to go ahead and use my basic black and go ahead and stamp this strip. All right. And then I'm just going to use my fast fuse. I don't want to use glue just in case the cardstock warps a little. We're going to go ahead and stick this in here. And there we go. I think adding a wreath or a little door sign. Let's see. Does one say hello? Let's go ahead and stamp the hello. What the hay? So I have my, let's take out my little wood plank thing and my hello sentiment. And then I want to use my, we need to stamp the little ribbon or whatever as if it's hanging from the door. Kind of doing things backward today, but I definitely wanted to get a video out for you guys. So just going to have to bear with me. <laughs> All right, there is our little tie. So we can tie our sign on the door. I'm going to get some Very Vanilla. So here's a scrap of Very Vanilla. I'm going to go ahead and get my basic black back out. And stamp my hello. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut a side of a dimensional. Use the edges to pop this up. And then go ahead and attach it. Do a little bit higher where it says hello. So really, oops, sorry, was I out of frame? Oh goodness. So really cute card. I absolutely adore this set. I think it is wonderful. For, um, I'm looking forward to using it for Christmas cards, especially adding the garland around. And there's a, a framelit die to um, you do the garland. So really nice, minus my little boo-boo here, but I'll fix that later. But so cute. I love the wood DSP. It just makes things a lot easier. You don't have to worry about adding a texture, anything else. You just stamp it, die cut it, and it's perfect. And then adding the floor to kind of give it a ground. So adorable. I really am pleased with this. And then you open the little door. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know what you think. And all the supplies will be listed below. I'd absolutely love if you um, placed an order with me. It helps me continue to do videos and work towards some personal goals that I have set. Um, use the hostess code if your order is below 150 and for this month, if it is at least $75 and you use the hostess code, you do get a free sampling of DSP paper, which I will include the video above here. Your business and support is appreciated beyond what you could imagine. Um, so let me know if you have any questions. Supplies will be below and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.